Hello, this is Jake Kurth with Leads. Today this video is being made to show where everything is laid out in the Spot Basic software that comes on the vast majority of our firearm comparison microscopes. Uh, first thing you'll notice when you boot up your software is most likely you won't have any windows open. Uh, that's very okay. That's why Spot has put this handy dandy reference with icons, uh, which to be totally honest is how I mostly navigate around Spot when I'm using it. First icon you'll see is your live image icon. If you click on that, you'll get a live image. Um, the second icon over is your capture button, it's how you capture images. Uh, the icon after that is acquiring time lapse, which takes a series of pictures over a prescribed amount of time. After that, you have your image settings, which is actually how you control the camera. Uh, next to that is where your white balance button is. Quick note on the image settings button is it's divided into a series of tabs, appearance, exposure, area, focus, and measure. Most likely you're going to be spending most of your time in the exposure and appearance section. Um, it also has the ability to save profiles to allow you after you capture a picture or once you've found the perfect settings to use, you can change the profile or you can save the profile. So if you find the perfect brightness setting, the perfect gamma setting, you can make a profile for that. Uh, going back to white balance, you have your white balance button. What this does is teaches the microscope what is supposed to be white. Um, what I use is a white piece of paper. I put it underneath the microscope. I hit the white balance button. We want something over white. It begins. And there you are. We were already pretty white balanced to begin with, which is probably why we don't see a big change here. Uh, the next one over is your full screen mode. This can also be activated by hitting F7. This puts the entire monitor into a full screen mode. Um, to get out of this full screen mode, you can hit escape or just move your cursor to the side of the screen. A uh, nice fact about full screen mode is it will still show the image settings. So if you want to work in full screen and adjust your image settings, you can. All right. You'll see, of course, your file, or your menu options: file, view, camera, setup, help. Primarily, camera and setup are used when we set the equipment up. Once you capture an image, you're going to see that the user interface is going to subtly change, with a couple more icons and a new menu option. So, capturing my image. And what you'll see are now that we have these, what were previously grayed out, are now selectable. So we have set zoom mode, which basically allows your cursor to zoom in and out. As I left click, I zoom in. As I right click, I zoom out. Uh, to the right of that, we have a little magnifying glass, which acted was essentially a, a set zoom level that follows your mouse around as a magnifying glass. You have full as the pan window, which when you're zoomed in, acts like a mini map for your image. To the right of that is full screen mode. And then to the right of that is image color adjustment. The idea with image color adjustment is if you choose a pixel, you can then make adjustments to what that color should be, in your opinion. I personally don't do a whole lot of color adjustment. I actually just set my white balance and just take my pictures. But this is a tool that you can use after capture. To the right of that, you have a save button. And to the right of that, you have a print button. The edit menu option is where you set essentially all of your edits. So this is how we set our calibration. This is how we add measurements, uh, apply reticles. Uh, you can even change it to a grayscale image. Here's our monochrome actually. Um, and you can make negative and add filters. Primarily, once you capture images, this is where you'll spend most of your time. Thanks for watching. Jake Kurth with Leads. If you have further questions, please feel free to contact us.